hello guys so welcome to 3d home and um today's video i'll be showing you guys how to model this particular wall grooving using akikat yeah cut right so let's dive in direct to the video without wasting much of your time okay so the first thing to do since we have the reference picture already here the next thing to do i think we should go with um line tool okay line tool so we're using line tool and then um, do the design first, okay, like the plan before we now, you know, add some details to it. So the first thing, let's, let's commence the plan, okay. So for the measurement, this um, vertical line, let's go with 212. And for the horizontal lines, let's go with um, 211. Okay. The next thing, let's offset 211 here okay um, 11 here and then for the down one let's go with let's go with 212 212 this always remember to tap your control button okay once so you can have a duplicate of it 212 all right this this is the box now we've created okay this is the box and then the next thing to do is to you know um work on the offset for the offset the sides which are the um, vertical lines let's go with two um 24 let's go with let's go with 21 rather let's go with 21 okay but to ease yourself of stress what we should do here is click the first line all right then click as if you want to move the line then select this multiply click on multiply once click ok select that particular line again all right then type in the offset which is 21 okay so as you keep moving your cursor to the right that's how the lines will keep coming out all right so we have this particular one now and then for the horizontal line we do the same thing right click um select that particular line select multiply okay click on ok click on the line again type in the offset for this one let's go with 24 okay click enter and then keep moving the line downwards then click okay so we have something now like this kind of a graph and then the next tool we're using now is cut which is known as also trim tool okay but to activate that just kindly hold down your control key all right hold down your control key and then let's bring out the shape okay let's bring out the shape just follow me carefully all right all right okay same thing to this side to this side and then mind you we have we need to have a space here okay so you ignore this particular line and then continue from this other side okay same thing here let's redo this one okay all right continue like that same thing ignore this side all right same thing here and here all right after getting the shape like this the next tool to use is the morph tool okay use the morph tool so we can um, achieve the thickness so let's start from this point okay Use the morph tool then retrace the lines okay retrace the lines all right retrace the lines just keep going once you get to the end point you will see um you will see a face okay a new face there so this is what i'm talking about this green part you'll see now is the the line okay is the face and then from here now the next thing to do is let's check our 3d first and see what we have there is we're already having the same thing here so from this point now okay click on it once and then select on this point okay what you see there are different options here but let's choose to click on to this will allow you to type in the thickness of that particular face so let's go with 24 then click ok all right after ok right click and select ok so we have this one now okay for us to have a path like this one okay like this one 
there's need for us to you know drag this point outside so click on this same point okay on the same point and type in 24 again all right then right click and click on okay okay so click on this entire um design click on move all right tap your control to activate um copy all right then click it let's just drop it here first then we we'll do well to rotate this particular model okay rotate this one like this okay let's rotate it this way this way then select this point this time i'm moving it back to this other point so this is the move tool it's also known as drag so move it to this side okay to this side and click okay and click so you can see we have the same thing now so this is the first one if you want to have it in um let's say you want to spread this particular design out okay you want to spread it to this other point like to this side the next thing to be doing now is to is for you to use your copy tool okay copy to highlight everything okay highlight everything and then copy it remember to always tap your control once okay once so this is what we have now once you click on this point you see we have the exact thing as this one so the more you click the more you copy the the more this particular designs becomes okay because you're copying and also you're also pasting them in different side so let's drop the same thing this other side tap in your control once okay let's see if this is the right point to drop this so this is how to model this particular design in akikad right if you find this video helpful please do well to subscribe to this channel and um you can ask your questions via the comment section okay i'll do well to attend to you guys thank you once again for your time subscribe please if you find the video helpful all right